Well, if we didn't already know what the future of electric cars was, we'd now know. Imagine having your next EV be able to charge in five minutes, five minutes, using a 1,200 kilowatt fast charger with a 1,200 volt architecture, solid state batteries with an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram and four in-wheel hub motors, four little hub motors weighing about five to seven kilograms each in each wheel, providing more than 400 kilowatt of total power. Now, this sort of uh, vision of the future, these sort of EVs, they are not just a little bit better than internal combustion cars. They are in a different universe, but they're coming to this universe very, very soon. In fact, one of the most prominent automakers in China has revealed the details on its future EV. And it's not that far away. Chinese car manufacturer Dongfeng. Guys, I actually bought one of their cars at auction a couple of years ago. And one of you bought the car off me because I didn't end up being able to, I didn't have a home to, to use the battery for, which is what I intended to use it for. But anyway, Dongfeng, they have already manufactured solid state batteries. They've already done 0.2 gigawatt hours. They say full production will begin on this particular date. And from that point on, you'll be able to use, well, purchase these batteries from them. Here are the details on the energy density and the dates that um, this major Chinese automaker is gonna bring these batteries to market. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Dongfeng. They actually just announced two days ago the world's first only mass production EV with four in-wheel motors. So hub motors, uh, really, really, really interesting technology. It's got a total of 400 kilowatts. So each individual in-wheel motor has 100 kilowatt. And they're going to potentially pair that car by the end of next year with these new solid state batteries. Dongfeng say they'll begin mass production in September of 2026. I mean, guys, that's only 10 months away. Energy density will be 350 watt hours per kilogram meaning the vehicles they put these batteries in, they say will have a range of up to 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles. It's not massive, but um, it's the next step and it's coming very, very soon. The company has established and put into operation a 0.2 gigawatt hour pilot production line for solid state batteries in a statement they released today. They mentioned that the, what basically what they'd been doing at the 2025 World Power Battery Conference held in Yibin, Sichuan, starting yesterday, CNF Post says that Dongfeng announced its next generation high energy density solid state batteries and its EV platform. And I, for me, what's probably more exciting than the solid state batteries is its EV architecture. The fact that they're matching these new batteries with a 1000 volt platform. I mean, 1000 volt architecture where the solid state batteries it's kind of awesome, yeah? I mean, imagine what's possible with this kind of architecture. The company is developing solid state batteries with energy density of 350 watt hours per kilogram, 400 watt hours per kilogram, and 500 watt hours per kilogram. But the 350 watt hour per kilogram ver version uh, will be able of producing, they say, enough power to provide EVs with 1,000 kilometers of range. Imagine what the 500 watt hours could do. You might be looking at 1,500 kilometers of range. There'll be no reason whatsoever to want to purchase a, an in, internal combustion car at that point in time. Currently, Dongfeng is conducting research on sulfide-based solid state batteries. They say that the energy density of these sulfide-based batteries will be 500 watt hours per kilogram. And yeah, like I said, that's going to give you up to 1,000 miles of range. Um, that's pretty insane. To give you some context, energy density of today's lithium ion phosphate batteries is approximately 170 watt hours per kilogram, depending on the brand. Some are a bit higher than that, some are a bit lower, but around about 170, 175. So you're looking at literally triple the energy density of today's most common lithium ion phosphate batteries. For example, BYD's blade battery is 165 watt hours per kilogram. So it is actually triple the energy density of that battery. The batteries maintain over 72% energy retention, say Dongfeng, 
at minus 30 degrees Celsius, outperforming the 60% level of conventional liquid ternary batteries, said the company. So anyway, minus 30 degrees, they still retain 72% energy retention. And that's a big difference compared to today's standard lithium batteries, particularly lithium ion phosphate batteries, which don't handle the cold very well. Safety. So these batteries have passed a 170 degrees thermal box safety test, far exceeding the national standard requirement of 130 degrees. I'm not sure why Dongfeng did this. Essentially a test you have to do. It's a 130 degrees test to see how the batteries will handle 130 degrees Celsius. Dongfeng was like, no, 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 let's, let's turn it up and make it 170 degrees. Dongfeng also showcased a 1200 volt ultra high voltage pure electric platform at the event, utilizing its in-house developed 1700 volt silicon carbide power modules. So they're talking 1000 volt architecture, but they've just revealed their new 1200 volt architecture. They didn't say anything about charging speed, but you'd imagine with a 1200 volt platform, you'd be potentially capable of doing up to 1.3 megawatt charging which is 1300 kilowatt charging probably charging the battery approximately five to seven minutes potentially the platform though they said can achieve 2.5 kilometers of range in one second of charge and 450 kilometers in five minutes if you pair it with 12c battery cells and a two megawatt charger so I'm not sure why they said a two megawatt charger. It's like they're implying that it potentially could charge at 2000 kilowatt. I doubt that's the case, but that's what they're saying. They're saying you could plug in a two megawatt charger. I mean, there's very few two megawatt chargers even in China, but they will be probably more common over the next five to 10 years. Anyhow, the key point is this, that charging speed is actually 1200 kilowatt. If you look at the actual theoretical charging speed, it's, it's approximately 1,200 kilowatt charging speed, which is what Geely have with their new Zika 001 currently on the market. But anyway, 1,200 volt architecture, solid state batteries. I mean, guys, isn't it cool? This industry is so exciting. There's so much happening here. And I know a lot of people are going to struggle with this information. If you're someone who struggles with stuff that's new, um, a lot of people struggle with change. And I'm just, I was saying to my boys the other day, what's the one thing in life that never changes. That is, that everything changes. You know, everything changes. And a lot of humans are really struggling with this. And that's why there's so much negativity on YouTube and on Facebook, because so many people, uh, they just emotionally can't handle change like this. So if you're someone who can't handle change and your first knee-jerk reaction to this kind of news, you know, this kind of charging speed and solid state batteries is negative, I suggest don't watch these videos. I mean, it's not good for you because you personally, now not everyone has the emotional maturity to handle this kind of change we're going through right now, which is just crazy. There's changes happening every day. So people will say stuff like, oh, well, you just did a video last week that said there was another battery. There, there can't be new batteries every week, can there? But yes, there are. I mean, there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars being poured into this technology Artificial intelligence is helping. We have some of the smartest minds in history working on these on these projects, and it's not going to stay the same. Things won't stay the same ever in this this sector. And if you're one of those people who just freaks out because everything's changing so fast, and so you have to like emotionally react to that, I suggest you just don't watch. You know, just maybe I don't know, like sit in a corner of a room and put a sheet over the top of you, and you know, pretend like everything's going to stay the same. Thanks for watching.